any theology I know. Do you get me? You don't, how do you put God at the center of national building? The Bible is very clear about that. You do that by honesty, justice. So, he talks about defending the poor. Almost every scripture that makes reference to God at the center of national leadership is not talking about a national edifice. So, I think that is not correct to say that we are going to build a cathedral to place the uh, uh, to place God at the center of nation building? No. You place God at the center of nation building by ensuring that justice is done and dispensed quickly, by ensuring that truth stands, that truth prevails in the country. That's how you put God at the center of national building. And that you, you your priorities reflect what a, a, a leader who cares for the people will do. Okay, so, and I feel the religious leaders may not be able to tell him that they disagree, but I, I don't, there's, well, no, there's no theology in the little Bible I've studied that agrees with this idea. And the fact that no nation was totally economically prosperous to build a national cathedral does not mean that in a time that we are in, it should be a priority. If churches have money, they should not contribute it to build a cathedral now. They should help to help feed the schools. Yes, if churches have money now, they should use the money to contribute to fill some of the, the, the schools who are eating uh, uh, galiba or eating tea without bread. That's how I see it. Okay, and this is not being ungodly or being disrespectful. I'm saying that all the respect I can master. We cannot conflate the issues. You see, because once you bring God into it, then it means you are going to the Bible. And the Bible doesn't teach that. That when you put up a building of this size at this time within all the priorities we have you are placing God at the center of national worship. You place God by the virtues of what he teaches, not by the physical edifice you put up. You see, And, you are, and, and, and I'm, I'm bringing all this in the context of, we just had a corruption perception report. All right, We had a corruption experience report. This, this, the, the, the finance minister himself admits that these are almost unprecedented economic times. So why are we pushing this idea? Why isn't cabinet or somebody saying, look, Mr. President, this is not the way to go about this. So it's almost like it, it's always coming back to tell us that as for as we don't know anything, so you will do what you want to do. Are you telling me that people can't tell that they are struggling? That this is the time to be, to be it's, it's almost like in your face, cathedral, in your face, front page of Daily Graphic, front page of Ghanaian Times. Why? When this whole week, look at the topics we discussed this whole week. Why, not, why is Nasdaq cathedral being on front page of the Daily Graphic? Why should it be on the Daily Graphic front page? Yesterday, Charles told you that they are going to suspend extracurricular activities because they don't have money. Let's, let's, let's be honest and stop this. I, I don't understand. Then it's almost like, well, nobody's able to say it, so everybody's just keeping quiet because the president has said it. No. Somebody just said, look, this is not the priority of the people. The constitution is very clear. He, you, he must represent the aspirations of the people, not his personal agenda. It's it, 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 an embodiment of the will of the people. So representative governance, whether it's parliamentary or presidential, is an embodiment. So the queen is an embodiment of the hopes and aspirations of the people. That's why they say God saved the queen. Because in saving the queen, you save all of us. Because all our hopes are... So the position is not about the person anymore. It's about the collective. And I'm saying all surveys have shown that this is a bad idea. It's at the wrong time. Economic priorities offside. So I, I don't understand how it keeps becoming... <laughs> In the front pages, the papers are just writing about it. The people are talking, Episcopal, whatever. No. The religious leaders must stand up and say, Mr. President, this is not right at this time. We don't want to do it at this time. You can't use state coffers to do it. And even if churches have money, this is not the time. Because there are pressing national issues. Yesterday, the minority is accusing the government of illegally printing 22 billion. The Bank of Ghana had to come in to come and correct that. And that is very damaging for a country. For even the two leading sides to be talking about printing, because our laws are very clear about, about financing, 5%, no more. Indeed, during the IMF program, there was a zero financing. And you see, I, I don't want to even go into the economics of that whole discussion, but I'm just saying that the, 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 the situation we find ourselves in, I don't even want to go fighting about where to bury meals. Like, why? Why are we so bent on pursuing a certain brand of politics which is so divisive. What are we trying to achieve with that? Where are we going? What, what? The, the country is bigger. We have, there are, there's a lot of issues that we need to deal with. Somebody I respect says something. 
It says countries are not built by one person doing, by few people doing big things. Countries are built by many people doing a lot of small things consistently. So if you look at all the people who've been listed in the Corruption Perception Report, all of us are failing the people. And we must all play our role. The judiciary, the executive, the legislature, the media, the state institutions, immigration, all these guys. How can we be collecting bribes from people to give them whatever you want to give them? Why would they have confidence? And once people lose confidence in the system, our democracy collapses. So we must do everything to en engender confidence in the system through our actions. That's what we must do. A lot of times when problems occur, they blame the media. Everybody keeps repeating, oh, the, the genocide in Rwanda. People who haven't even read about the genocide, they say it's radio stations that cause it. So every day, radio stations that cause genocide. Meanwhile, you have state institutions collecting bribes from people. You have people almost rubbing it in your face. Institutions losing, people losing trust in institutions. It's not, it's not, it's not caused by radio stations. It's caused by the way we govern. The way we do our politics. And we need to deal with that issue. It's not, it's not like, oh, as for media for the Dibiana Mukasa Mukasa. Go and look at the statistical service. What is National Intelligence Bureau doing in a corruption list? These are, these are very difficult situations that we should deal with. And the situation in the subunion is not good. So voices of reason must call all consent. Council of State, speak. Say no. This is not how to do it. This is not this is not this. The, 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 the way you see the society is not for the reality of many people. The way you are seeing, the way the president sees some of the things he sees, that's not how majority of the people see it. And it behoves on those who work with him to tell them, Mr. President, you are wrong on this issue. We've said a lot about free SHS review. We don't want to touch it. Then Wednesday morning, with all these problems, telegraphic, Ghanaian Times, National Cathedral. Seriously? We haven't even finished accounting for the monies that were paid for the people. What have they done with the monies paid to them? Then we come back on the front page on the morning with all these issues and say we should contribute to National Cathedral. Come on. To bring enormous Come benefits. on. No, let, let, let's, you see, the, 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 the truth there, we have to say it and be free. You don't want to hear the benefits. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Don't, don't, don't go there. It's okay. Don't, it's okay. Don't, don't, don't read it. It's okay. Oh. No, stop. Let's go to the corruption report because there, there are things I, I don't agree. No, I have a few things to say about this, but to say those things, I must read. <laughs> you, you, want to, you want to provoke me? I'm not provoking you. I must read what has been. You have to stop. Stop.